Okay. So, let's wait until everybody gets here. And welcome back to some of you, and welcome for the first time to some of you. I'm Kylie, and I'm so glad that you're here today. And as you can see, I brought some yummy things with me today. And we're going to make something with them. But in order to make something, what do you need to know how to make it? If you're making something you've never made before, what do you need? A recipe. We need a recipe. We need a recipe so that we know how to put these things together in the best way possible. Because we're going to make some trail mix. How many of you have ever had trail mix that didn't have the right amount of good stuff in it? <laughs> right? Sometimes there's too many pretzels and not enough chocolate chips. Sometimes there's too many peanuts and not enough M&Ms. You can tell I like chocolate in my trail mix. So we want to make a really good trail mix. So we're going to use a recipe. And guess what, everybody? Gets to make some trail mix today. Okay. And I promise this has something to do with Jesus. Now, two of you are going to have to share because Miss Elizabeth did not give me enough bags. So, who is like, what a good brother you are. All right. Y'all are going to share. Thank you so much. Okay. So, our recipe says that the first thing that we need, and Miss Elizabeth took good care of us, is fresh popcorn. Has to be fresh, gotta be good and fresh, right? Otherwise, it gets all funny tasting, right? Okay, so everybody gets a little bit of popcorn. About a handful, that's our recipe says about a handful of popcorn. Now, if you have real big hands, you might have more popcorn. If you have small hands, you might have a little less popcorn. That's okay, right? Start with a little bit of popcorn. Okay, here we go. Alright, everybody's got some popcorn in their trail mix. Alright. I think that's not enough popcorn. Let's see. Let's see. I think everybody needs. Mm -hmm. I have small hands, so we need to we need to do two handfuls. Alright. 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 <coughs> cereal. <coughs> this is a good kind of cereal. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's plain or if it's honey nut. I think it's plain, but that's okay. We got lots of sweet stuff, so we need something in there that's not going to rot our teeth, right? Okay. All right. So next, it says a small handful of these. Right. This is just for texture, right? This is a, this is like the pretzels. This is like the stuff. We don't need too many of those. <coughs> All right. And the next thing our recipe says to add, the next thing our recipe says to add is marshmallows. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it says two handfuls of these. <laughs> We want to have lots of good stuff, right? Now we'll do one handful. These are, this is a lot. You can put a, put a lot of marshmallows in one handful. Now, you got to remember, the recipe says <laughs> these have to be fresh too because what happens to marshmallows if they sit around too long? Yeah. They get crunchy and then they're no good, right? So we got our nice fresh marshmallows. <laughs> nice and soft. Mm -hmm. So good. The recipe likes sweets. It does. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does like sweets. We're going to find out why the recipe likes sweets in a minute. And then last, but certainly not least, the last thing that we need, because we've got some salty things in there. We've got some chewy things in there. We've got some healthy things in there. So the last thing we need to finish it off is some chocolate chips. Sweet and a little crunchy and just the perfect thing to finish this off, right? Okay, I don't want to melt these with my warm hands, so that's how we're going to do this. Everybody gets a little pour, a little pour of chocolate chips. 
got to hold your bag open for me or else I'll, or else they're going to make me vacuum the sanctuary later. <laughs> <laughs>